At the top, first on four with more than 62,000 people in Texas living with AIDS. A Brownsville family is spreading their message about teaching safe sex at home. They started informing their children at a young age in order to keep them from making life-changing mistakes. They are a fun-loving family who enjoy spending time together and share just about everything. Just play up some start next week, is it? Even those things that some families might find uncomfortable to talk about. One thing that we do in our home to um, talk to teach our boys about uh, sex and sexually transmitted diseases is we we provide a really safe environment, uh, a, a, a place where they can always come to. Todd and Damina Nichols are raising their two sons in an environment where sex is not something to laugh about, but instead they feel it should be understood so that their sons don't make mistakes and are aware of what they may encounter in the real world. I think as a parent you don't want to, okay, I'm going to condone it, but yet they want to be prepared. You know, so if my son is out there and that just happens, well, at least he knows what he needs to do or he should do versus the heat of the moment and we just don't know. Their 11 year old son learned at an even earlier age about condoms and although mom and dad use the word awkward at times, they say it's better for them to know than not, especially with an alarming number of young people taking dangerous risks. And now the CDC reporting a thousand Americans between 13 and 24 years old being infected each month with HIV. The time to teach, they say, is now. And I want my son's to be aware of what's what potentially is harmful. Safe and just the awareness, you know, because let's say somebody is infected, you know, it's like, ooh, you know, you don't want that. It's like, hey, you know, they're a person too, so you don't want to have that stigma of stay away. We don't want that. Mom and dad say many parents shy away from revealing too much about sexual activity to their children because they feel they are not old enough to understand. But they believe their kids will hear it early on from someone else and they would rather the information come from them. We want our sons uh, to be good men, to be trust trustworthy, to be um, open-minded, to be healthy. Now, the Nichols family will take part in the Viva La Vida 5K run and 1K walk on May 4th. The public is welcome to join them. It'll be held at the Harlingen. It'll be held in Harlingen to raise awareness and funds for the Valley AIDS Council. The Valley AIDS Council is the primary resource for HIV testing, treatment, and support services here in the Valley. To find an HIV testing location near you, call 1-800-333-SIDA. You can get a hold of me about this story on our Facebook page. Let us know what you think. How young is too young to educate your children about sex? I'm at Facebook.com slash Action4NewsMarcy. Follow me at MarcyKGBT on Twitter.